Here's your guide on how to play Hades and Smite 2. First things first, I think Hades is best played in the solo lane, so that's what we'll be focusing primarily for this video. The first thing we should cover with Hades is his passive. His passive is Blight. Blight is applied by attacking your enemies with auto attacks or abilities. When an enemy is blighted, they have reduced strength and intelligence, and also Blight works with every one of your other abilities. The first ability you want to unlock is your third ability, Devour Souls. Basically, Hades just does damage in a circle around him, and blighted enemies take additional damage, as well as healing you, and that scales off of protections. Your second ability you want to get is your first ability, which is Death from Below. Hades has a leap that allows him to go around structures, bursting up from the ground, causing damage, and enemies that are blighted are slowed. Your third ability you want to get is Shroud of Darkness. Enemies in front of you are just silenced, and if they're blighted, they are also feared. Hades' ultimate channels a circle around him, dragging enemies in towards him while also dealing magical damage. The biggest chain for Hades from Smite 1 to Smite 2 is that while he's channeling his ult, he can use one of his abilities as well. So if you want to use your first ability, Death from Below, to help chase down enemies, or you can use Shroud of Darkness to help hold them in your in your ultimate, or if you just want a little extra damage, you just pop that Devourer of Souls to help finish them off. The build I like to go on Hades is, for my starter, is Conduit Gem, then into Book of Thoth, Gem of Focus, the Cosmic Horror, Soul Reaver, Obsidian Shard, and then for my last item, I like to go either Polynomicon or Rod of Tehuti. I hope you give Hades a whirl in your next match, and let me know what you think.